Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the sign up we have seen, right? So the sign up registration and showing the errors in the sign up we have seen. Let's try to see the login functionality. Let's try to complete the login functionality in this video. Here, if you go to the login.view, this is the login.view. You go here, we are having VF and model. Let's keep the trim here. The first step, and now this is the place where we, where we need to write the login registration. So here we need to check the login, login check we need to check when the client side validations are completed. Now where we need to check the login, so from the actions.js, here we will be writing the actions.js. So let's write here login functionality. So this is here async login. So instead of writing login here, let's create the store constants here. In the constants, let's create, let's create login underscore action is equal to actions. Sorry, actions login user. Okay, so we have written the login action. Let's use this login action here. So why we are creating the constants here? So we, as we as I already told you in the UX state management, I already told you. So context and payload. Now what we will try to pay the payload the same thing you will be getting this one let post data here you will be getting the post data and the post data we will be trying to do the same thing so if you want to write the code in a separate file in a separate refactor the code you can do the refactoring thing just i want to keep it like this only i will keep it like this only. we can copy this one also so when the login functionality is done you will get the same code here so i have copied the same thing so now the only one change what will happen is only the url change so you should not do the sign up we need to do the login if i go to the here if i do firebase authorized api right authorized api if i try to check here authorized api and in this let's try to see the login so for this sign in with email and password down you will be having this one so i will let's copy this url and i copied this url and here i will paste this url so let's go and here let's paste this url so i have paste this url so we got the url and we got the same thing so post data we are sending so what is the post data we need to send it for this one email password and return security again. the same thing what we are sending for the sign up we are sending the same thing and the response also we are getting the same thing only so id token email refresh token everything so we can save this one as a the same data we can save it and also we need to get we need to if any error message comes so we need to do that error message so let's go to this error message we have written only uh, only email exist error message now if i try to see this one here down you will be able to see that email not found invalid password these are the common errors what we will be getting from the server when we are trying to log in let's try to add this one here i can copy this one and i can do email not found and i can write here email not found okay in the same scenario i can copy and i can paste it here and i can go into this one i'll copy and i will paste invalid password invalid password okay or otherwise if any of this doesn't passes so it doesn't come true i will write i will return unexpected error occurred please try again so we can write like this so we can return this one now let's go to the action.js so here we will be sending that message and we will be throwing that message right so let's go to the login.view and here let's add the map actions so that is the map actions right so i will add here map actions map actions and this comes under auth here auth and here what i will try to do you will be having login and i will use login underscore action so this is the map action and in this one what i can do here login check i can do this dot login and what we need to do here we need to use the async so because in order to wait to show the lo loading spinner so i can, what i can do is this dot this dot login this dot login of i need to send the data email this dot email 
okay password this dot password we can send this both the things to here and what i need to do is i need to keep the await here so let's add wrap this one in the try catch block so we'll try this one and if any error comes and if any error comes here and let's catch this one here error create a variable with error here whatever error you want so here i can write this dot error is equal to e so this is the error and here at the top we can write div class is equal to alert alert hyphen danger i can write and i can use that error variable here and what i can do v if any if is equal to error so i can write this one v if any if is equal to error so now what is happening here await this dot login everything we have written right now let's try to check the output so if i try to check the output here if i go if i refresh this one we are getting in the actions login underscore action is not defined okay fine let's go here and login underscore action is not defined means we are not importing this one yeah now i think the problem will be solved now if i go and if i write some unknown URL, unknown, unknown uh, what i can say email id so let's see whether it logins or not if i click here it will be saying that email not found fine so i will write the correct email which is existing in the database and i will write the wrong password and if you see here invalid password so fine it is telling right so now what is the problem we are having is we need to show the loading message if you show the loading message then it will be very nice so now how we can show this loading message so let's go to the sign up view so same thing how you have used that one map actions importing that map actions again so if you go into the sync sign up and here you will having map mutations right so here you can take this map mutations and you can paste it here if you want and here you can add loading spinner and what you can do here so before trying this dot show loading of true and you can reuse this one so when this one is happened when false do the false thing and down you can come and you can do the same thing with false now let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output here map mutations is not existing okay we have copied just copied so we need to import that one from the vx so it should be imported from the vx here map mutations is imported and if i try to see close it here and i will write with the correct password correct email id and wrong password the loading symbol came an invalid password and if i see some some other mail id email not found see uh, so now if i create test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six the correct password if i give login so it has lo logged in if you try if you want to see so what we can do is instead of doing like this so here we can write this dot error is equal to empty first we first we'll try to make this this dot error is equal to empty so now let's refresh okay yeah so test at the rate test.com and here i will write something and it is saying invalid password now i, I will write right one two three four five six correct correct email id now see so the, the login has been successful now we need to route it some some to the some other url if i click here if i click in the network so we have got we have successfully got the token and the refresh token and everything okay so this is how we have reused the all the sign up functionality in the login function the loading symbol and all those things and we have reused the code so that the login functionality has become very easy okay so this is how we will be doing the login functionality in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to pass the token to all the uh, coming uh, axios urls http requests all those things we need to pass the token so let's see in the next video how to pass the tokens okay if you like the if you if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you